Welcome back everybody, it's Karen Carr and today we're going to be looking at a neighborhood in Canton, Georgia called Bridge Mill. So I apologize for my shaky dash cam. It was either that or hold the camera while I was driving down the street, which is probably not a good idea. So you saw that we had Publix, a gas station, dry cleaners, restaurants, there's a CVS directly across the street, and then boom, it dead ends right into the neighborhood. So it's super convenient if you're in the middle of making dinner and you run out of something, somebody can run to the store and grab what you need. We have all different sizes of homes in here. Right now it is May 2016. I think the least expensive house is priced at just under 200,000 and the most expensive is right at around 900,000. I would say the average price point in here is probably somewhere between three and 400,000. Here are a few shots of the pool. Look at this pool. Can you believe that this is not a, uh, a town pool where you have to, I mean, you live in the neighborhood. This is the pool you get to use. Look at these water slides. The playground is fabulous because it's got the place for the tiny toddlers as well as the great big play structures for the older kids. Tons of swings, bathrooms. I like that it's on sand because mine always falls. We get a little bit of padding and lots of shade around the side for the parents that are just sitting there watching. Featherstone Grill is the restaurant which is also open to the public. Here is one of my favorite streets in the neighborhood. The houses are on the higher end. These are gorgeous. I love how the architecture is different for each house. They're not cookie cutter carbon copies of each other. They're on the larger side, obviously. They all have three car garages, pretty decent sized lots. I'd say they're probably in between a quarter to half an acre for the most part. Some of them do go all the way up to an acre. And this last house is one of my favorites. It reminds me of a winery in Sonoma. I just think it's so cool. So if you're looking for a home in Bridge Mill, visit my website. I'd be happy to help you.